Hey everyone, do you have WooCommerce? Do you have WordPress? And do you have Salient? These three, how do I add a, a button to any element but also make it to where they can, uh, a, a person can click on that button, like order now button in a pricing table, um, and actually it will add to cart. So some people I feel like may have a little trouble with this. So basically all you do is you make a button inside of the pricing table. So a lot of times the pricing table will have the button inside the text block. You don't want to do that. You want to take that out of the short code. You want to take the button out of the short code. So you'll delete that. So the button will be here. Just delete that. Use go here, add a button element, right? I already have one here. Click on that. And there's a couple different styles. What you want to do is you want to find your product ID and then you want to add uh, and, and create this kind of URL. So so we have HTTPS, findmycode.com forward slash question mark add to cart uh, and the product ID. So uh, to find the product ID, and this is a really cool website that I just finished by the way, it's called findmycode.com. Uh, I'm very proud of it. I think it looks awesome. Um, so you go to your dashboard. And you go to products. And then you go and you hover over and these are the IDs. Okay. So that's basically how you do it. Um, very cool stuff. It's easy, but if you know it, it's harder if you don't. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. Um, add the ID and you should be good at using that URL. There's also other URLs that you could use uh, that can make it go to a different page on the add to cart style in WooCommerce. Um, and so I can do more in another video about that. But I thought that was a really cool thing to know um, right off the bat or to give you some quick advice on.